some of our sampling, some of our items on the menu. We focus on the flavors of Spain. So we do have a tapas bar back here in the back where cast members will, will uh, prepare all of the tapas. We have two different types of tapas. We have pinchos and then we have cazuelas. So pinchos are the individuals over here. These are some of the uh, items we have on the menu. We have our tortilla española and then our marinated mussel escabiche and then our olive oil poached tuna right there. Beautiful crostinis on there, nice chewy texture on the, on the uh, toast. And then moving on down to our cazuelas, this is one of the great shareable items on our tapas. So this one here is a goat cheese stuffed piquillo pepper. On top of that we finished it off with a green onion vinaigrette. And then the beautiful octopus back here, nice and tender, braised for six hours. Got some beautiful green lentils under there, romesco sauce, and a little chimichurri to finish that out. Love octopus. Right? Beautiful. And then here, we have a unique opportunity here. We have Manchego cheese from La Mancha, Spain. We have four different ages imported. We have a three month, a six month, an eight or nine, depending on what, the, what they send us. And then we have a 12 month. So it's a great way to, to taste the aging of cheese and the, the complexity and how it changes over the time. So just some fun little garnishes there. We have Marcona almonds, which are from Spain as well. We have some quince paste and a beautiful honeycomb as well. And let me just showcase some of the meats up here. We have our um, saucisson iberico and our saucisson uh, below. You're going to have a shaved jambon? Yeah, shaved. That's a uh, jamon iberico. Oh, wow. So that is a J6 that is imported from Spain. And then we have a couple of our entrees here as well. I wanted to, um, to feature today. We'll feature our hanger steak. Char grilled on the grill. Um, underneath we have some crushed potatoes. With a little filled green salad on top, shishito peppers, with two sauces on there. We have a beautiful, vibrant ahi amarillo yogurt, and then a salsa verde. And then back here, sea scallops. It's one of our guest favorites so far. So seared sea scallops on the bottom, we have a fava bean hummus. A few fava beans on there as a garnish. And then for a little acidity, and uh, uh, we have a harissa vinaigrette, an olive tapenade, and then a fun little yogurt powder to add a little tang to that. And you can't go without not having desserts, right? So, so we're going to showcase here. This is our uh, classic crema catalana. So with some candied orange segments, uh, chocolate nip twill, coco nip twill, and some beautiful Valencia orange segments. And then last but not least, this is our tapas bar. Uh -huh. So we have a beautiful chocolate uh, crisp mousse on the bottom. And then each layer on top is a progression of flavors. So we're starting off with, with a cheesecake, a lemon meringue, and then a raspberry and then a chocolate ganache, and that very end one is, uh, is a coffee. Yeah, that, that's uh, not to be shared. <laughs> Devour that one yourself. Right? Yeah, beautiful. Very cool. So some, you know, some, fantastic, some fantastic flavors of Spain. We're trying to get uh, all of our ingredients either indigenous to Spain or imported from Spain. Very nice. And Chef, how many wine options do you have? Let's see, well, that case up there holds about 1,700 bottles. So we do have a fantastic uh, wine list from here in the United States and California um, and imported from Spain as well. Very cool.